Hey guys, what's going on? It's Janky, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to add an outline, glow, and drop shadow on Pixel E. This was recently added, like, a little while ago, so not many people actually know about it, and I've gotten some questions in the comments. So, uh, yeah. Also, guys, like, 99% of people on my channel aren't already subscribed, so if you're one of those people, I'd highly appreciate it if you guys subscribe. And let's just get right into the video. So, um, basically, I'm just going to start off by just making something and adding a, um, character into it. Alright guys, so this is Vigil from Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, I'm just going to be using him as an example for this video. Um, basically, how you guys do this is you guys want to select on the um, image that you guys want to outline. You guys can click on it or you guys can click it on the side. And then um, you guys want to go to Filter. And then down here, you guys will see three things. Glow, Outline, and Drop Shadow. If you guys go to um, Glow, it'll add a glow effect to the outline. You guys can change all the different settings and stuff. Uh, you guys can also change the color opacity, which basically makes it l visible and non-visible. You guys can change the size, which makes it massive and just really small. And you guys can also change the blur, which makes it like more blurry and less blurry. So yeah, that is the first thing. It is the that's the glow feature. The next one is outline, which is like just like the glow, but it's like um, it, it's not as like blurry on the edges. It's just like very straightforward. You guys can make it blurry by adding feather, which basically just makes it into a glow. Uh, you can change the opacity, which makes it lighter and darker, just like uh, just like the glow feature. And you can also change the color. Uh, so let's say if I wanted like reddish, yeah. So that's the outline feature. And then the last one is drop shadow. Uh, if you guys change the opacity, it'll get lighter and darker, which is kind of hard to see right now since it's like hardly even on the character. You guys want to move the offset. As you guys can see, move it this way, and it's going to move on the x axis. And then if you move it down, it is going to be on the y axis. So, yeah. So, yeah, guys, you guys can change the blur, which makes it like this, and it makes it like just very very blurry as you go um, and then you guys can change the opacity which makes it very visible like black and then it makes it like not even visible at all if you make it zero so yeah I thought I'd let you guys know about this because some people had some questions in the comments in the past and also uh, I just figured out about this so yeah uh, I hope all of you guys have a great rest of your guys' day stay safe and if this video helped like and subscribe I'd appreciate that so much uh, and yeah, talk to you guys later.